Hey everyone, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. So I realized today that I have no tutorials for Atmosphere, and so I just want to show you all some basic techniques to be able to use these overlays effectively. I'm starting with an image that has already been worked on. I've run Rainy Day from the Vintage Spring Action Set and also I have run some darkness and magic light from the magic light action pack. I want to go ahead and add on some snow and some fog and the way that I'm going to do that is by starting with my image and going to file place and I'm just going to navigate to wherever I have my image files stored and here we go. So first I'm going to add a little bit of snow and my snowstorm is right here. So I'm going to double click that and you can see that it'll place the image on top of your original image. Now you can see that the black ground is black. The reason for this is because you're going to need to put the effect on screen. So click the check mark. Now Elements users, the process is exactly the same for you. I'm going to size this a little bit because I see that it's not overlapping completely. So I'm just going to drag this corner over a little bit. So you need to make sure the layer is selected and go here to your blending modes. Change the blending mode to screen. And you can see that it puts the snow on your image. It looks a little bit light to me, and so I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. I'm just going to drag it until the snow looks big enough to me, and that looks good. I'm going to press the check mark, and it looks a little bit light. I want it to be snowing a little bit more, so I'm going to select the snowstorm layer and duplicate the layer. So you can see before I added the duplicate layer, after I added the duplicate layer. The effect is intensified. Another technique that you can use is to rotate the second layer. You can make the second layer bigger you can make the second layer smaller. I recommend doing this because snow is not of a uniform size and so you can get a more realistic effect by adding smaller and larger snowflakes. So that looks pretty good to me. Now I might want to go ahead and just erase it in some different areas. I'm going to go over to my eraser tool. I'm going to click on the layer and press OK. And with a 35% opacity eraser, I'm going to just go through and hit some different areas. Maybe a little bit less over their faces. Keep in mind that the snow that's closest to you is going to appear stronger than the snow farther away from you. So I'm just going to hit this a little bit. Okay. Another thing that you can do is reverse the layer by going to the Move tool moving it away and then reversing. So you get more of a snow falling directly from the sky effect versus a snow falling or blowing from one direction. The snow that I've created here is blowing from one direction. And so you can see with both overlays it's coming from the left. But when we reverse it, it 
it now looks like it's falling from the top. And actually I really like this because it gives this interesting movement around here and that looks really good to me. It's a little heavy over his face so I'm going to erase just a little bit more. I'm just going to go in there and just hit this one. It's a little bit too bright. Okay, and I'm going to erase that one 100% because it's really on a strange spot on his face. There we go. So that looks good. Now I'd like to add some fog. So using the same process, I'm going to go to File, Place, and I'm going to select Fog. Okay, so this is another one that you'll need to put on screen, and it looks like it isn't sized exactly to the image, so using the Move tool, I will just stretch it out a little bit, and I'm going to put it on screen blending mode. Okay, so you can see we have some fog now. It's a little bit strong. What I'm going to do is take down the opacity on the fog until it looks just a little bit more realistic. Okay, I'm actually going to leave this at 50% and show you another technique. Okay, keep in mind that the fog farthest away from you is going to look stronger than the fog that's closest to you. So again, I'm going to use the eraser tool, press OK, and using a 25% opacity eraser, I'm going to just take off some of this effect. The goal is really to make your images look realistic, and I think I took just a little too much off there. Okay, I'm going to take a tiny bit off of their faces. I'm going to lower my eraser to 20%. And just give this a little erase here just to make sure that the subjects still stand out in the image. Let's look. So that looks pretty good to me. This is definitely a fall scene and there's no snow falling, but if there was snow on the ground, then this is an awesome technique to use to make it look like there's snow falling. I like this image and I think that this definitely works. Let's see where we started. This is where the image started and this is after we added snowstorm and fog. Hopefully this was helpful and you can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com